Hi there, yoga friends. I'm Jen. Welcome. In today's class, we're going to take a look at the posture called Gomkasan, or the cow face posture. And this is a part of the Yoga Help series where we break down the posture in various steps to help you find the best suitable way for your body without causing any more injury or strain to what you may already be facing. If this is your first time to the channel, please remember to subscribe and click the bell to make sure that you never miss out on another video. Let's get started. Gomkasan, or the cow face posture, gets its name from the way that the knees cross over each other here and sort of looks like the face of a cow. There's a couple of ways to do this. So typically, if you have um, knee injury, or uh, discomfort or hip injury, this is where you might find some distress or discomfort in the posture. It can also affect your lower back. So we're gonna work through these different variations to find out what's best for you. If you do have knee issues, what we're going to do to get into the posture is we're gonna keep the right leg straight. I'm gonna hug that left knee into the chest and just hug it in to sit up tall for a moment. Feel your sit bones firmly plant onto the floor. Nice deep breath. And then you will take the left leg, cross it over the right. And what you want to do here is sort of line the left knee just above the right. Now, if you have a big gap here, you can place a blanket or a block to help support you if you're a bit tight in the hips. And you want to make sure that you have this heel moving away from the hips or the shoulders so that you've got a nice maybe 90 degree angle here for your knee. If this is okay for you here, um, you just take the hands to the floor, press down through the palms, tilt the hips forward and sit back down. Depending on how your lower back feels, you may just stay here in the erect position or you can just take your hands forward gently bowing forward. So generally in the cow face posture, you want to also bring in a shoulder stretch or a wrist stretch. One of the options we have here in this yin class is to turn the fingertips back towards the hips and just press gently into the wrists. If that doesn't feel comfortable for your wrists, then please just release and take your palms back to the floor. There is this sense that our shoulders move down the back. And just take another two or three breaths here, stretching out through the right leg. And this is our first variation of this posture. Last breath here. One thing you want to make sure of is that if you have the leg underneath straight, that you're not getting any sharp pains through the back of the knee. And you can even lift the knee and place a block or a blanket under there as well. Let's slowly come back to our seat. And if you want to take this posture a little bit deeper, what we can do is take that right heel over towards the left. And you want to make sure, first of all, that you can still get both of your sit bones here onto the floor and that the ankles are moving forward, the knees stacked above each other. This is going to make it a little bit stronger. If it's not accessible to you, don't worry. Just come back to that earlier variation. We're going to start here in Gomkasan with the hands just below the left knee. We're just going to gently press them down and away, draw the shoulders away from the ears and soften through the face and the jaw as we take a couple of breaths and just notice how that feels for your hips here. I love how juicy this one is for the hips. Now, some people prefer just to stay upright in this posture. If that's you, go ahead. If you want to bring a little bit of a further stretch in here and your lower back is okay for you to do so, we walk the hands again forward and just lay the torso down over the top thigh. Let's take three breaths here, just drawing the shoulders away from the ears, taking a soft gaze in front, making room for the front and the back of your neck. We'll slowly walk those hands back in, sitting tall. We're going to release the legs here out in front. We're going to give the knees a nice little bounce and maybe give the massage to the knee tops as well, just really gently. There we go. 
All right, so we're gonna repeat that on the second side and I'm gonna show you some other arm variations as we move into it as well. So if you on the first side stayed with your right leg straight this time, you're going to keep your left leg straight. And again, maybe putting a bolster or a block or a blanket underneath the left leg and maybe even something under the right leg to support. And we're looking for our knees to be stacked. Hips centered, hands to the floor in this variation. And we lift the hips, tilt the hips forward, and then sit back down. You should feel a lovely stretch in the back of that left leg. Hands here to the top of the right thigh, just below the knee to press down. But if you did so on the first side, we'll take that left heel in towards the right glute. And again, you want to have both of the sit bones on the floor as you shuffle your heels forward, keep the knees stacked. Just press down here gently on the top of the right thigh, shoulders resting away from the ears, nice tall spine. Gently open the eyes. Now, if you stayed erect for the first uh, posture, the first side, stay here. You have the option to stretch the wrists and the shoulders for this one by staying tall. What we do is we take the backs of the hands to the rib cage, just underneath the armpits. And as we exhale here, we're gonna draw the chin towards the sternum, round the shoulders forward and drop the head down. And as we inhale, we're going to draw the Elbows back, lift up through the heart center, raise the gaze and draw the shoulder blades away from the back or down the back. Exhale, elbows come forward, chin tucks towards the sternum, rounding through the spine. Inhale, lifting up through that heart center, raising the gaze. We'll come back to neutral. So if you're not bowing forward and you do want to bring in a really gentle wrist and shoulder stretch there, that's something that you can do. Now in the full variation of this posture, we actually interlace the hands. So what we're gonna do is take the hands wide and turn the palms to the ceiling and draw those shoulders down your back. Reach the fingertips here in opposite directions. And then as we exhale here, we're going to bring the right elbow over top of the left. Bend the elbows and see if you can bring your palms to touch with your thumb tips pointing towards your face. If that's not an option for you, Maybe the right hand comes to the top of the left shoulder and the left hand to the right. So you just want to make sure that as you come into this, that you always take the opposite elbow over top here. So on the second side, you would have had the left elbow on top. So we're taking the variation here that works best for us. If you do have the bind through the hands, we're going to lift the elbows up to about shoulder height and then draw the hands forward. And as you do that, you're going to feel a deeper stretch in between the shoulder blades. If that's comfortable for you, you have the option of just sitting tall, or as you exhale, bow it forward from the hips and take the elbows towards the floor. Now in the full variation, the hands will come to the floor. I'm not quite there this morning, but you may be, and that's perfectly fine. Keep your hips here to the floor, your breath soft. Let's take three breaths. Let's unravel the hands before we come to sit. Place the palms onto the floor and gently sit up. Let's give the shoulders a nice roll back and then forward. We'll straighten the legs out in front of us, give the knees a little bounce, maybe give yourself a little bit of a massage to the hip joints and the knees. And one last little exercise, we're gonna interlace the hands. And without moving your elbows, we're going to start to make figure eights with the wrists. This is just to release the wrists, any strain that you might have taken on them. So really let your mind flow with this movement of the wrists. And then I'll get you to pause, change the, the direction of your figure eight. And I always see students getting kerfuffled here. There is a reverse. And it's probably more of a mind challenge than it is a physical challenge. It's a nice little challenge to have. So there you go. Let's release the hands. We'll give them a nice little uh, release and we'll come into our comfortable seat. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed those different variations and you found one that's suitable for your body. If you have any comments or questions, please leave me a message. I would love to hear you and help you on your yoga journey as you recover from chronic pain, anxiety, and depression. You are not alone. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you.